everyone, Manona the Woody, tricking the game here. Welcome back to this series of perfumes from the Middle East that are sometimes duping perfumes of high-end or designer brand. The reason why I'm having them is because most of these perfumes are slightly or very affordable compared to other designer and high-end perfumes. At the same time, they could be really beast mode. Today's perfume is Narcotic Flower from Maison Alhambra. Probably you can tell already from the bottle what kind of perfume it might do. But I would like to tell you that I didn't know anything about this perfume when I got it some months ago. It was uh, in my basket and I wanted to have free postage. It was not so expensive, so I checked the note and I thought, okay, maybe it's worth a try. And I was not disappointed because I really liked the perfume. The notes looks like something I might enjoy. The name rang a bell to me, but I was not really sure and I didn't care that much. I was just, I was Googling it. I didn't find that much information. First of all, that was instant love when I sprayed it the first time when I received it. It was not so strong when I got it. That's very common with many Middle Eastern fragrances. I mean, some of them are loud perfumes, but those which are freshies like this one, they are very, very faint at the beginning and then after some weeks, they are really nice. Once you smell it the first time, you get a citrusy like bergamot mixed with rose, peony, and a little bit of fruit, you know, very unripe fruit. The second thing that I had in mind was, it reminds me of Delina from Parfum de Marly, which I have a sample here. Let's see. I think I can just spray it on my skin. Yeah, this is like a little sister of Delina, but that is a little bit naughty. And I don't know, but Delina feels very tart and very strong in a way. It's the summer scent, but it's strong for summer scent. Although narcotic flowers smells much fresher. It's more uplifting. I like it. This is not a dupe of the Nina. Definitely easier to wear. I would spray this on myself and the way I see myself is like the girl who doesn't talk that much, very well behaving. But once she opens her mouth, this is just a loose cannon. You cannot do anything anymore. She's just so naughty and uh, you, you cannot stop her. That's how I feel when I'm wearing this. And the Lina is a little bit more like a happy girl. And uh, yeah, this is the type of fresh floral scent that uh, I would say you can wear every day. As I said, the bottle, the way it looks, it looks a little bit like Fleur Narcotique from Ex Nihilo. And I never put my nose on that, but I could really imagine that this is duping Fleur Narcotique and by the name. Some Middle Eastern fragrances, they don't shy away and I don't know how they could get away from the design, the name and all that, even the color. I think they have more or less the same color, the same glass bottle, the top, you know, the cap is a little bit golden. Yeah, anyway, it turns into something more to your skin and a little bit maskier, you know, like uh, Narciso Rodriguez type of mask. I find it very sexy. It might not appeal to everyone, but if you're into this kind of scent, if you know how the Lina smells like, you can take away the incense. I think that's what makes the Lina a little bit stronger. It's sweeter. Maybe that comes from the fruit, but it's much sweeter after some minutes. And by the way, how it performs on my skin is with four sprays, it will last me six hours with projection. And then after that, it will become a skin scent. But whenever I wear this one, I feel like bold, naughty. It's smooth. It's not too loud. But at the same time, there's something behind it. It's just so sexy. It has also jasmine, maybe this mixture of jasmine. A little bit of mask, you know, I really love that one. So compared to the price point, I know that Ex Nilo perfumes are really expensive. I never put my nose on them, so I cannot tell. But I'm judging from this bottle and I'm trying to describe from what I smell here. 
This is uh, Blind by Worthy if you are into toned down rose and uh, unripe fruit mixed with some citrusy, very summer-like. Even if it's really hot weather, you can wear this. Does it project? Yes, it does project very well and uh, don't need much. You don't need to uh, be too strong or too screechy anyway in summertime because for me it's a summer scent. But that's how I feel overall with this perfume. So that was Narcotic Flower from Maison Alhambra. Let me know in the comment section below if you tried this and how do you feel about this? How does it perform on your skin? I'm really curious about that. Thank you very much for watching video till the end. If you didn't subscribe yet to my channel, please consider doing that and like the video if you do. I hope that you will be there with the next video about the Middle Eastern fragrances that are mostly affordable and really special smelling and they might be worth the check. So bye bye, feel me.